Is there no easy way to share brew recipes without having to type a whole bunch of text or make a 10 minute long video? Well, now there is. Let's talk about that. There are an overwhelming number of recipes across various brewing methods and no easy way to document them. When looking for a recipe online, you usually come across this or this, and neither of them are quick. So we decided to create Recipe Builder, a brewer agnostic system that allows coffee professionals and enthusiasts to build and share recipes in a simple standardized way. You probably already know this, but we're nerdy about coffee and we love tinkering and coming up with new brew recipes. Having tried multiple methods and apps to document these experiments, they've always come up short in one way or more. So we decided to make something that addressed a lot of these frustrations. Now, this is a constantly evolving project and the more people that use it and give us good feedback, the more we learn about what works and what needs improvement. It's also the only way to have something like this become more of a standard. So let's dive right in and see how this is structured and how you can start using it today. Both Namisha and I being musicians, it's not surprising that the recipe builder is heavily inspired by sheet music and MIDI notes on a piano roll. Much like music, all brews consist of events of varying durations that happen at different points in time. So this system lays these events out on a timeline in a way that is easily comprehensible for someone wanting to learn and brew a given recipe. Quantities, color coding, and additional notes make it very versatile, allowing users to create a vast range of recipes for almost any brewer. We've specifically avoided any fancy icons and other graphical elements to make it really simple to use and understand. Let's start with recipe details. This section contains all of the important information about the recipe, like the author, the brewer, coffee dose, grind size, water quantity, and water temperature. Now, some recipes may require additional information like filter type being paper or needing a distributor like the WDT. And this information would be mentioned in this section too. Next up, we have the legend. Here's where you see the list of abbreviations of all the possible events. It's broken up into two sections, the first being general events that are applicable to all brewer types, and the next is brewer specific, which are events that are only applicable to a given brewer. For example, insert plunger would only apply to an Aeropress and not a V60. Then we have the timeline. This is a graduated timeline where the smallest divisions are five seconds long. You also have 15 second divisions and minute markers. You can also use arrows like this to indicate a fast forward in time for brews that have long wait times like the South Indian filter. Lastly, and most importantly, we have events. At the heart of the recipe builder are events. Every event has a name that tells you what action needs to be performed. Its width signifies the duration and its position on the timeline indicates when it needs to happen. Some events like pours have an additional quantity indicator, which tells you what the scale reading needs to be at the end of that event. If this quantity is preceded by a plus sign, that indicates that the scales need to be teared before this action is performed. Other events like drawdowns can have a range indicator as these events can be completed at any point within a given range of time. Lastly, events that require some additional explanation can also contain a note, and this is where the system shows its flexibility. A note can be a word, a few lines, or even a small doodle, anything that helps explain that event better. To make this easy to understand, let's build a very popular recipe, James Hoffman's V60 recipe. Start off by listing the recipe details. The author is obviously James Hoffman. Here we're going to be using a V60 size 2 with 30 grams of medium fine ground coffee, which is around 24 clicks on the Commandante. We need 500 grams of water at 94 degrees Celsius. We're going to be using a paper filter that's rinsed. And lastly, we need a spoon that's going to be used as a stirrer. Next, we draw the timeline with the 5 second, 15 second, and 1 minute divisions and make sure that it's long enough for the recipe. In this case, at least 3 minutes and 30 seconds long. Next, refer to the legend and start adding events on the timeline. First up, we have a 10 second pour of 60 grams of water, which is 2x the coffee dose. Right after this, we add a swirl. And note how events that are shorter than 5 seconds can be depicted using a dot or a small circle. Now, leave the timeline blank until the 45 second marker. No event indicates a wait, and so it becomes pretty clear now that we've done a 45 second bloom. Add a 30 second pour with a quantity or scale reading of 300 grams. 
What this means is that by one minute and 15 seconds, we should have poured an additional 240 grams of water over and above the 60 grams that we use for the bloom. Next, we add the final pour with an end scale reading of 500 grams. Add a stir right after this pour with a little note that tells you what kind of stir this is. Then after a 15 second wait, which allows the water to draw down a little bit, we add the final swirl and then finish off the recipe with a drawdown that ends anywhere between 2 minutes 45 seconds and 3 minutes 30 seconds. That's it. We're done. It's that simple. Okay, so you might be thinking, hmm, that's all well and good, but I don't have this fancy software to build these recipes. Don't worry. All you need is a pen and some paper. Yep, you heard that right. But before we tell you just how easy this is, we'd like you to do something that's even easier. Like and subscribe if you enjoy our content. It's free and it helps us a lot. We'd also like to take a quick second to thank our amazing patrons and YouTube subscribers. Back to the doodling. I'm going to quickly sketch out the World Aeropress Championship winning recipe from 2019 and then we'll take a look at it together and break it down. So in the details section, you can see that the author Wendelin has used 30 grams of coarsely ground coffee for an inverted AeroPress method. The water says 100 plus 100, which will make sense in a second. Lastly, you see that she's used a special type of filter paper by a company called Acer. The recipe starts by adding 100 grams of water to the ground coffee in about 10 seconds, and this is followed by 20 firm stirs. The CA at 20 seconds indicates cap on and something that can be deciphered using the legend. It also has a note that tells you to remove the excess air, which can be done by pushing the body of the AeroPress down onto the plunger until the hissing sound stops. Then at 40 seconds, we invert the AeroPress and press for 20 seconds. We then tear the scales as indicated by the plus sign and dilute the brew with 100 grams of water. Lastly, we stir and decant to bring it down to 60 degrees before serving. Hopefully that demonstrates just how easy it is to put down a recipe on paper. To see many more examples of recipes built using the system, head over to the guides section on our Instagram account. Imagine you're at a cafe and you're enjoying the pour over that you ordered so much that you decide to buy those beans. You can then ask the barista their house recipe and quickly jot it down on a paper towel. You then have that as a reference when you're brewing at home. Similarly, cafes can use this system to document their house recipes and it can be used for barista training and if it's a chain, they can easily share it across all of their outlets. Lastly, being able to see these events laid out clearly on a timeline make it much quicker to read, so you can even follow along while you're brewing, much like sight reading music. Well, that's the recipe builder for you. It's barely at version 1.2 and is still rough around the edges, but we hope you're as pumped as us about the possibilities of a system like this especially if we spent a little more time and effort refining it. The quickest way to make this better is with your help. We need more people to use it and give us good constructive feedback, which can help it evolve into a more universally accepted system. So here's what we ask of you. Build a recipe or a few and let us know your honest thoughts. Things you liked, things you didn't like and ideas you have that you think will make it better. Let us know in the comments below. And as always, thank you so much for watching and brew Aramse.